Hello Leo, welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Uh, another reminder, I am available for personal readings and the readings that I offer are not just strictly um, uh, uh, geared towards twin flames or uh, soulmate relationships or whatnot. The readings that you will find in the description box below can be applied to any situation that you have going on in your life that you would like to gain more insight on, yeah? So if you have something you want to talk about, I absolutely encourage you to email me. And if you're not quite sure of what kind of reading would be best for you, again, I encourage you to email me and we will discuss it and I'll help you iron that out, yeah? So let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leos for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. And yes, I am adding uh, the Venus into these, the channeling for these readings um, because love is a thing we all want. So let's talk about it, right? <laughs> all right, Leo. Leo. Leo is my moon sign. So hello. Hello to my fellow Leos. Let's see what's going on for us. Leo. One more shuffle for you, Leo. Leo. Okay, well, we've got some flyers here, so let's talk about this for a second. We've got the Seven of Swords and the Devil. Both of them are in reverse. So, Leo, um, there is a situation that you're coming out of. Someone is releasing deceptive tendencies and uh, uh, an attachment to the devil, whatever devil energy this may be, fear, anger, ego, um, uh, 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 destructive relationships. Um, yeah. Letting go of self-deception also, uh, of, of leaving, uh, of, you know, Stealing from yourself, leaving yourself out in the cold. Um, this could be you, Leo. You know, you've finally come to a moment where you're done with this stuff. So you're just like, whatever. I'm just going to walk away from this now. I am. I did hear ego. So there may be some Leos out there that are coming to terms with, you know, how their ego and their pride have really not been beneficial for them. And so you're letting that go. All right. So put that back in. Let's reshuffle for a little bit here. Leo, 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 Leo. Let's see if those come back up later in your storyline. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Leo. And then I'll cut the deck and then we'll get into this, yeah? Leo. Okay, here we go. All right, Leo. Overall energy here we have, oh! <laughs> Look at that. There's that devil again. So a lot of you are really going through a period where you're releasing attachment to devil energy or there's someone in your reality in your life that is going through this release of attachment to the devil. And that's a good thing. That's really a good thing. I really do feel like pride is, in, is at play here. But we have the five of wands and we also have the two of wands with the Four of Cups underneath all of that. So, I am picking up that in that whoever is releasing this devil energy, excuse me, I am going to drink a little coffee here. Whoever is releasing this devil energy is really conflicted about it um, because it's not like it's an easy situation to let go of. There's a lot of comments from the peanut gallery. I do call the Five of Wands my peanut gallery card. There are a lot of differing opinions um, associated with this. There could be a lot of inner conflict um, around it. But ultimately, it's, it's, I'm really, what I'm feeling is this is just the, um, uh, a, just some, it's just a, a part of moving away from this devil energy. It's coming to terms or coming to realization that you've been attached to devil energy in the sense that you've been attached to the opinions of others. And that I think is where ego and pride are coming into play for you, Leo, because it could be you that's doing this and you could have been attached to the devil in the sense that you were valuing the opinions of others over yourselves, your own opinion. 
And so now you're in a position or this person that's letting go of this ego of this devil energy is in a position to choose a new direction forward. And that could also be where I, I literally see an individual coming out of five of wands energy and now being faced with a path. Uh, a choice and path in front of them while they're still hearing all this chatter from the peanut gallery gallery they are sufficiently removed from the situa situation where there's not much influence left if there is influence it's like you're hearing it going on in the background and you're and it's actually just serving as a reminder as to what you're trying to get away from and so now you're dealing with choosing which path to move forward with. We have the four of cups underneath all of that. And what, it, what that's saying to me here is like taking some time to meditate and understand things on a deeper emotional level so that you can choose the right, so that you can take that cup that's being offered over here and do and make the most use of it, okay? Moving forward, we have the ace of cups in reverse with the king of wands in reverse so um uh, i feel like there's a situation with some sort of um i mean i'm getting a few different things here i'm seeing like during this time period that, that there may not be much moving or much there, there, there could be a falling out with someone um but what I'm actually, in relation to the devil energy here, Leo, because we are talking about the King of Wands, this is, in a lot of cases, this is talking about you, Leo, and this is talking about um, you just playing the field, being a player, or, or someone around you being a player. And with the devil energy in reverse, it's like you, you are, um, you're coming to terms with how that has left you in an Ace of Cups in reverse state. It's left you feeling like you you can't find love. Like you maybe you like you don't even deserve love. Now this could be you, Leo, or this could be the a person that you're surrounded by. And or this could be whoever is in your life. Like this if if Leo, if this is not you, if like say you're a divine feminine here, this could be your divine masculine. We could be talking about your divine masculine here and how they're they're starting to see how all of this chatter from the peanut gallery has just left them over and over and over with all of this this ace of cups in reverse energy. It's like you you come into contact with someone and there's fire and passion and like you hook up or whatever whatnot and then it just fizzles out. Why? Because that was a connection that was rooted in this of these these opinions from the peanut gallery about how you should who you should be loving, how you should be finding love, where you should be looking for it. It's like, no, actually, I'm not going to listen to that anymore. I'm going to choose a new path and I'm going to do things the way I want to do it, not the way everyone else is telling me to. Okay. Moving forward, we have the sun. So here you are again. You're really showing up here, Leo. You've got the king of wands, if that's you. But if not, if that's not you, then we have the sun here. Now, this isn't your official card. Your card is the strength card. But at the same time, the fire signs, I believe, are represented by the sun because the fire, the sun is fire. Um, and before I, I want to just see, aha, the six of pentacles. So illumination is coming. Okay, Leo, I was wondering whether or not this was talking about uh, narcissism or anything, but it's not here. I definitely don't feel like it is. And my spirit team is saying, no, it's definitely not. What this is saying is illumination is being brought to the imbalance uh, between give and take that has been in your life in the past. And now that's coming into balance and you're starting to see things from a different perspective. Or that we are still talking about this other person that is represented here by like say the King of Wands and they're starting to understand the value of the balance in between in, in give and take in relationships. Okay, um, someone is coming to terms with the fact that they've had all these people around them that have really just been manipulating them so that they can get what they want out of them. They didn't necessarily have this person's best interest in mind. They had their own best interest in mind. And that's not gonna fly anymore, okay? Because now either you or this other person is starting to see that that was doing nothing but leaving me out in the cold. And I don't want that anymore. So I'm gonna release this devil energy and I'm gonna move on, okay? Moving forward, we have the star healing, a hope, faith is what I'm getting from this and the ace of wands in reverse. So, um, interesting. 
All right. This is, and especially since it's, it fell right under the two of wands, this is that moment of trying to figure out which path to take. Okay. And the star is absolutely guiding whoever needs to make this choice right now, whether it's you, Leo, or someone else you're connected to. The Ace of Wands in reverse coupled with the star upright is really not so bad to me. It, to me, this is just saying that, you know, communication is happening on a soul level between you and your higher self or between, you know, if this is the other person between them and then their, and their higher self to heal from the situation that they're literally stepping out of as we speak to then bring the inspiration of how to get which path to take to get where they want to go, This where the star is leading them to, okay? Or leading you to. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse, and we also have the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, mm, someone's upset. <laughs> Someone is sad. Someone is overly emotional um, and may not be doing too much to hide it. Um, I'm, I'm, please excuse the pause. I'm really trying to channel this, this message here. I'm really not too sure what this is trying to say at the moment. Um, with the six of wands in reverse, okay, someone around you. Leo, either it's you, Leo, or it's someone else around you, um, is feeling a lot, but they might be denying it. With the six of wands in reverse, it's like they're, they're, they may be refusing to see that this is actually what's going on in their world is actually a victory. You, this might be you, Leo. You might be, um, in the process or the person, whoever's around you, Leo, that's, that's going through this release of the devil energy here. Um, they may be getting caught in some icky emotions surrounding it. Um, kind of like what I, the message I'm getting from this combination of the six of wands and the queen of cups, both in reverse is like someone is not seeing the forest for the trees. Um, they're going through a period where it's like, they know they need to move away from this devil energy and they're almost out of it. But now they're kind of getting struck with all of like the emotional purging surrounding it. Um, how did I get here? Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to release all these people um, or these situations, um, the circumstances? Um, yeah, I, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to move forward because I feel like greater definition will come out moving forward. But next in the storyline, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands has been coming up, guys. And look, we've got the counterparts. The king is right here and the queen is right here. They're literally right next to each other with death. Okay, so there is a perspective change here. Okay, there, and if we're talking twin flames, this could be um, the divine feminine is uh, putting an end to um, a circumstance, mostly in the way that she views a circumstance. It could also be in the form of the divine masculine is putting to end the view of the divine feminine, or maybe even the, the view of the connection. Because remember, when we were talking about here up with the king of wands, um, you know, the divine, if we're talking twin flames, the divine masculine is coming to a point where they're starting to understand how this devil energy and all this peanut gallery energy has been leading them to have their ace of cups spill over and over and over. Okay, it's never led to a lasting, fulfilling relationship that can be built upon and move forward with. But here, um, oh, also, I want to point out that Leo, I mean, Leo, you are really showing up right here between the King of Wands, the Sun and the Queen of Wands. I mean, you're showing up in all forms except for strength. But that's OK. We may not need that. Um, yeah, so there is a change in perspective that's happening. There is a change in the relationship that's happening. And if we're talking like, from my personal experience, I am a divine feminine here, and I am act, I am definitely going through a death. I'm going through a death of how I've, how I've um, handled my twin flame relationship. I'm going through a death in how I see my divine masculine. I am actively working on seeing him in a different light, no longer even entertaining thoughts 
of our past, of ways that he's presented himself in, in life, whether it's towards me or even towards other people, there is definitely a transformation happening here for Leos. And whether that's the Leo themselves or somebody around them, I do feel like Leo is absolutely going through a, 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 a transformation as well. Like say, if you're a divine feminine cross-watching for your divine masculine, please understand that if, if your divine masculine is really going through this major change, you are going through your own major change as well because we are mirrors, okay? I'm really loving this <laughs> right here, right now. This is great. Okay, moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this is very, very good. Um, someone has come to terms with a, a negative materialistic view, okay? An overly materialistic, overly uh, focused on uh, finan on money, um, on um, images, on the way people see them. Leo, this could very well be you because we are very, very much concerned with how people see us, our image in the world. Um, and we're starting to understand, Leo, if this is you or if, the, if we're still talking about this other person that's around you, um, like say if you're cross-watching for a Leo, we're finally starting to come to a period where we're understanding how that negative... Um, that desire for a certain image really is not serving us anymore. And so now we're letting go of it with the four of pentacles in reverse, okay? And that is that is really awesome. Moving forward, we have the moon. Oh, man, we've got all kinds of counterparts. We've got the king of wands, the queen of wands. Now we've got the sun and the moon, Leo. Look at you. This is, wow. The moon with the ten of swords in reverse, um, I'm still feeling like there, I, I really am feeling like there's a little bit of a resistance happening. Yeah. And with this Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands in reverse, and now the Ten of Swords in reverse, this is not what you think. This really is not what you think. Um, and there are some things that you have to let go of in order to move forward in your life. Because if you don't let go of it, whether it's you, Leo, or someone else around you, if you don't let go of this, you're just going to have to repeat this cycle over again. And so that's really what the message of the Queen of Cups and the Six of Wands is. Someone is super, super emotional about this change, this transformation that's happening. And it's the Six of Wands that's saying this to me specifically. They can't see the forest for the trees. Well, of course you can't see the forest for the trees because things look real dark right now. But it's okay. Because ultimately, this is an ending that's going to bring you an opportunity to manifest something better in your life. The Ten of Swords in reverse is saying to me that you're in resistance to letting go, or whoever we're talking about here is in resistance to letting go because they think that this is the end. But this not, I mean, you're yeah, sure, to, to one degree it's an end, but to another degree it's a beginning. Okay. You are actively in a process of letting go of some of the things that have kept you from receiving that, that which you truly desire. Not what everyone else has told you you want, or not how everyone else has told you things should go, but how you want it to go, okay? Finally, for you, Leo, we have the Princess or the Page of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Cups. This is good. The Ten of Cups is upright because in the with the page or the princess in this deck, it's the pages are called princesses. But it, with the page of wands in reverse, you're letting go of this. Um, it's similar to the king of wands in reverse energy. You're letting go of this player aspect of this like dipping. <laughs> this is the image that I got. So this is how I'm going to say it. Dipping your stick anywhere, anywhere someone will take it. You know what I mean? Like you're you're done with that. But that's because you want you want to be loved. You want a lasting relationship, someone you can rely on, someone you can go through the rough, hard times with, and still be okay. Like you may fight, you may yell and argue and not talk to each other for a few hours or something. But ultimately, you're you're still good. You still have that love between you. And that's what I feel like whoever this King of Wands in reverse is referring to, that's what I feel like is has been a major problem because you have been afraid of opening yourself up to letting, you know, your skeletons come out for fear that some that you're gonna go down this path with someone and you know start getting comfortable with someone and then all of a sudden this skeleton just pops out of the closet and they run for the hills and you never hear from them again and then you have to start all over. 
But in the but in this case, it's like no, you actively have found a situation. Now we don't have we don't have the six of cups here. But what this is referring to is for many of you, you have come to a point where you have found a situation where you found a person that really loves you for who you are. And they're not going to just run away from you or or reject you just because some shit goes down. Like, that's life, boo. That's a relationship. You want to have a relationship with someone? You got to take the good with the bad. Um, so, but Leo, either you, Leo, or someone around you is coming to terms with the fact that, you know, they have really found someone in you that can roll with the punches and still be good at the end of the day. That still can be like, still like go home at the end of the night, crawl up into bed and cuddle up with you, even though y'all just had a knockdown drag out fight, doesn't really matter. I still want to fall asleep with you at the end of the night. You know, I still want to wake up with you in the morning, even though looking at you, you know, fills me with rage or something like I can't stand to see your face right now, but I still want to feel you next to me. Why? Because I love you and I care for you and I'm here for you no matter what. We all have our issues that we got to deal with, you know, and if you want to be in a stable, loving, committed relationship, you got to be able to roll through those things and not just run at the first sign of danger. And whoever we're talking about here is coming to terms with that. So that's a good thing. And that could be you, Leo. That absolutely could be you. Okay? <sighs> so guys, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me for this. Um, I love you all. And I look forward to connecting with you and speaking with you again for May. Yeah? Take care. Bye-bye.